Nigerian women play a significant role in food and agricultural production. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, says women contribute between 60 to 70 percent to Nigeria's agricultural sector, which contributes about 40 percent to the Nigerian GDP. But in spite of their contributions, insecurity, lack of access to land, credit facility, farm inputs, training and modern technology has hampered on their productivity. Now, UNESCO is working with other partners to support women in agriculture through a Young Women in Agriculture Champions initiative. This will help build women capacity to create jobs, improve yield and expand exportation. Gender relations between and among men and women are important in determining vulnerability to food insecurity and malnutrition. Gender discrimination in allocation of household resources include those related to nutrition and may result in an increased incidence of malnutrition among women and girls. This may be compounded in times of crisis. For the former Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Audu Ogbe, Nigeria's food production can only get better if the government changes its current economic policy on agriculture. In a country of nearly 950,000 square kilometers of land, only 3.5% is cultivated. 3.5% is too small. So we have to ask young people to come in because we are aging. They are coming along. They are, the cost of living is rising. The wages are low. Now, if we can't feed our country, there will be no peace. Some experts are calling on Nigerians in the diaspora to invest in improving the agricultural sector, especially for young women in agriculture. The executive members of Women's Space to see reasons why we should invest in women capacity building and focusing on the agricultural sector. This is because agriculture is also crucial to economic growth, accounting for 4% of global gross domestic product. We are optimistic that this transformative approach would enhance the acceleration of past progress made by putting us on track towards achieving the goal of strengthening smallholders, women's livelihood, and resilience in Nigeria. Moving from point one to point B, farming, cultivation, everything revolves around funds. So our women have challenges with funds. Most of our widows do not have anything doing, and their families are suffering because of uh, not doing anything at home after the death of their husband. But when you people invest on them, when they have learned something in regards to agriculture, I believe even with 10,000 naira, they will make a living. This new initiative is expected to actualize the attainment of the United Nations Global Goal, which is aimed at achieving zero hunger. Punarman Benjamin, Arise News.